Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. <laughs> Is it worth a buy? Let's read. Well, there's a call to read, really, but there's a bit. Hunt with the pros. That's all it says, really. Bring home bigger game faster using advice from our pros, including Wayne Middleton, Jim Shockey, and Ralph and Vicky Kiancial. The most authentic hunting ballistics ever in a Cabela's game. Traverse maps four times the size of any previous Cabela's big game hunter game. Track, scout, and target your trophy animal in all new ways. Well, I'm not a hunter because I'm English. My ancestors were hunters, hunter-gatherers, but the closest I've come to being a hunter is I shot a blue tit with my air pistol when I was a kid and then nearly cried when it fell out of the tree at my feet, twittering and flapping its wings going round and round in circles in agony as the slug penetrated its neck. And ever since that day, I have had no interest in shooting animals because why shoot animals for sport why why f shoot people There's, we have jails full of f***ing criminals shoot them c they deserve it go just we should have like open day in jail where all the rapists all the paedophiles all the murderers are allowed in this big yard to run around and we have hides with guns and we can shoot the and you pay money, you pay good money to get in, obviously, it would, you know, £100 an hour, and you go in, and you can shoot them. But why go into the woods and shoot animals? They've done nothing. Fair enough if we were living in, uh, if there'd been World War Three, and, you know, 90% of the population of the world was dead, and we all had to start up again, and, and we had to hunt to, because Tesco's are shut, Walmart's all gone, so we, we have no food. So we kill animals to live on. That's fine. Mac, get on with the review. Right, so, what is it? Well, you hunt animals, guys. And uh, it's a big open world game. And you have four regions of the U USA where you can go hunting. Now, the problem, the first problem with this game is that it works on an unlock basis. So to unlock zone two, you have to do everything in zone one. And, ah, uh, why? Why can't I just go where the fuck I want? I've paid me money. Why can't I just go anywhere I want and kill stuff? I hate this unlocking. Why? What the fuck? It's like when you buy your car from the garage, the guy doesn't say, hey, by the way, when you've done a thousand miles, you unlock the air conditioning and you can press that. But up until then, you'll have to fucking cook in it because your car gets unlocking locked. Why? What the fuck? I, I, I want to play a game so I can enjoy it. I don't want to fucking have to unlock stuff. I hate unlocking stuff in a game. Why should I have to? I mean, that, that half the games I've got, I've never unlocked half the stuff I fucking paid for because I get so pissed off doing all the shitty things. You know what I'm saying? So if you're watching developers, swivel on my middle fucking hunting finger. Anyway, other than that, it's quite a good game. It's quite good fun. The graphics are a bit near, nah, but the, it's very, very easy to control. You've got your wind needle pointing in the direction of the wind, so obviously you have to get downwind of everything, or is it upwind? I don't know. You just don't have to fart, essentially, when you're hunting. And you, you go on these hunts, and there's an open hunt where you can just go and kill whatever the f*** you want. That's the one I went on. That was great. Uh, you just go on and say, say you went on an open hunt. You just go around uh, with your bullets, with your gun, and just shoot stuff, and then you bring them back as trophies. Um, if you go on to the quests, you might have to go and kill a deer. You might have to kill a bear. And these bears will attack. I'm enjoying the game. And I'm as, as I always, this is just a very quick review to give you an idea of the game. But um, you have a whole lot of gear you buy. It's, you level up kind of with money. You get money for doing a hunt and you can buy better guns, better ammo. There's bow and arrows. There's all kinds of stuff that you, that you can buy to inflict massive pain on these innocent little animals out there. Um, but if you're into hunting games, you will like this. I've played quite a few hunting games. I've got a few of them. And uh, this is the best one I've played, apart from Carnivores 2, by the way. Carnivores 2, which you can't get now. That was hunting dinosaurs, and that was f***ing awesome. Um, but this is the best thing I've played since Carnivores 2. Uh, I am going back to it. Uh, it is a bit pricey, guys. It's £20. There's no multiplayer. 
Um, but there's quite a lot to do in the game if you want to go around doing all the hunts and unlocking all the areas. Uh, I'm not sure about replayability uh, and I do think it's a bit steep for the price. Um, so I'll leave that up to you but I'm going to review it on the basis of is it fun? Yes. Um, are the graphics all right? Yes. The bullet time's really good. Where you, it's it's like the Matrix, where you fire, you get that bullet time cam, so you can see your shots. And I found it great fun. Um, so I'm gonna say that yeah, Cabela's Big Game Hunt is worth a buy. However, I would wait till you pick this up in the sales. It will be in the sales. You can guarantee it'll be in all the Steam sales. I would hang about till then and get it maybe 50% off. But yeah, it is worth a buy.